Hi, I'm Richard Hines, and welcome to another video on severe dog aggression. So today's video, I'm going to take you back into my vault. <laughs> Probably about 10 years ago, this case I worked on. And because it was so long ago, it's deep down in my YouTube videos. But this is the kind of case that I wanted to bring back for people to go over it in a different way than I did 10 years ago. Because today, in this day and age, we are having a massive crisis in dog training. Unfortunately, millions of dogs are going to sleep worldwide more than ever in the history of our planet. And it has to do with the evolution of the dog training systems and methods that are being now touted and thrown out there at us consistently as it's the Bible or the way to go scientifically saying it's proven, which is devastating our planet, our dogs worldwide, it's devastating them. And they're going to sleep by the millions, right? M millions more per country because of this movement. And it's going to get worse and worse as time goes on. So, I want to bring this to light because this is one of probably the best videos ever done on dog aggression, dog psychology, ever on YouTube or TV. So, I wanted to pull this back, go over it, and I want people to understand this is an absolute master class, right? in understanding a dog, understanding where they're coming from, understanding the way dogs think and feel, and breaking this dog of severe aggressive behavior. And it's severe fear-based behavior, antisocial behavior. This dog bites everybody, has bitten so many people. Any person it gets a chance to bite, it will bite. It will not let anybody pet it. Only the three owners, the two that are in the video, and you're going to see a woman in the background, which is the mom of the owner of this dog. So these three have been around this dog since a puppy. Now with this case, this dog was very sick as a puppy extremely sick where the vet did not think this puppy was going to live at all. It was that sick. So when this happens, obviously, human nature is to pamper it, baby the dog, dog pulled through, and you're grateful that the dog pulled through, but it was sick for a long time. So its social skills weren't built. It got over-humanized, over-affection, and these kind of things with a certain kind of temperament, right? With a weaker temperament, genetically, makes a dog into a psychotic mess, right? So, this has created a monster. And again, this dog bites everyone, nobody can pet it outside of the three original people. Anybody, they have workers constantly on, top, on their property now working on the house. They cannot come down 
from the roof because she waits for them to come down and hunt them and is going to bite them at some point. So anybody who walks on the property, if she's out, you are going to be hunted. At some point, she is going to bite you. So I want to play this video out and just keep in mind, aggression is a very complex thing that very few trainers or behaviorists really understand at its core. That's the honest truth. It's a very complex thing at its core to, to deal with aggressive behavior. And there's a million different variables when you're dealing with aggression. Because this dog, same aggression, similar type of dog, the next case, right, will have variables to their personality or their type of aggression, even though they're similar, same style, but there's variables you must understand to be able to complete and get the aggression done with the, the other type and those particular variables. So aggression's a very complex thing. Now, I'm gonna let this play out, and again, this is going to show you the psychology. It's a long video. It's, you know, there's a lot here. So I'm going to let a lot play out and just let it be a long length video because a lot has to be explained here really to get the full scope of this case and how in one session we break this dog down and make her open up and accept petting from people that she would never, ever, she would never let that happen, was never gonna let that happen. Because of the psychology I was using in this video and the technique that I did, I was able to get at her and break her and make her let go. That is very rare in aggression training, right? In one session to be able to chip that away of severity, of nerves, anxiety, aggressive state, panic attack, all of it as a whole, to be able to get a result at the end of the first session ever with her, right? So I want to let this play out and I'm going to go through this with more detail than I did with the original version 10 years ago. All right, so now here, I'm going to test her on her porch where she hangs out and usually she gets really aggressive. All right, come forward there. So you see all the hair, all the blah, blah, blah. And as soon as I go in, there she goes, right? So as soon as I put the fence on her brain, gone, all right? Now, strong big dog would have got you. I got, what? Let's fight. You want to fight? Let's fight. They even though they don't know how either, if they're not trained, but at least they'll, right? And then they'll back off. What? But they don't back down. They, rah, 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 and they might snip at you and they keep on uh, she can't, she can't even for her luck but we're going to redo again right 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 so that's why right now we don't need is that right <laughs> right so see there I don't fall for the bluff she does her fake charge, rawr, 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 rawr. and as soon as I come close, just kidding, just kidding, I didn't mean it. <laughs> see the, the back? Yeah. Right, see? That's, her, that's it, spot. right, exactly. Right, so here, when I turn my back, in the corner of my eye, I knew it was coming. That's why I returned, and as soon as I turned, she went back. Right, chicken, classic chicken. From the back where nobody looks, so they can sneak attack, boom, and out. Right, not from front. Gone, gone from front. All right, I turn my back, you see the boom, the lunge right at me. All right, and we're back to the last few videos I did on YouTube 
explaining how to stop a dog attack if you are walking down the streets in public how to not get bitten by a dog this feeds again right into the theme and the psychology of dogs that people lack the understanding of how a dog thinks and works so you see here when she charges from front i'm able to push her back through defensive frontal pressure <laughs> So you see all the hair, all the blah, blah, blah. And as soon as I go in, there she goes, right? So as soon as I put the fence on her brain, gone, all right? When I turn my back, the weakness is there. The defensive pressure of front is not there and she takes a swipe at me. The moment I turn and face her, she's gone because the frontal pressure came back and I put the fence on her brain again. Again, 99% of dogs work this way, which I was explaining in the previous YouTube video and showing that, okay? And she has a habit of biting everybody in the back of the leg. So all the workers, they're here today, they were there on the property, and later in the video, I'm gonna have them come and pet her that they cannot go near her, right? They cannot touch her, go near her, she will not allow it, and she's bitten them many times. So she's got everybody on this property paranoid. They always are looking for her because she is in their heads. She is going to get them eventually. So, and it's always from the back, from behind. So at any moment you're walking around, you start to think you're safe, and you go, bam, she bites you right in the back of the leg, and I mean, she gives you a good bite too. She breaks pants open, I mean, blood, she bites hard, and she means it. But it's chicken bite, coward bite, fear bite, and that is why it's from behind always. Now, you see here too that in the beginning she ran up to me and she got close to the sleeve and she was rah, 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 right very close she did not take a bite at the sleeve she would just came up to threaten me and stop me right now because i stayed still in the beginning she kept herself there and kept barking at me because everybody that she has charged in the past is terrified. And they usually back up and do these things and she then gets in their head and she knows that. And then eventually she won't bite them from the front, but she will terrorize them from the front. Rah, 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 and make them move around. And the moment they go to move, bam, she bites them in the back. So her coming up and fronting me like that and staying there for a second going, rah, rah, rah. <laughs> and she was trying me. She was trying to really scare me and trying to get me to move wrong so that she could attack me below. But because I did not fall for it and I stayed still and didn't show any fear, she didn't know what to do, right? Now the moment I go with her, I turn the tables and now I become the hunter and because she's a coward and weak dog at heart, she has never had anybody turn the tables on her. That was, this is the first time that anybody has ever been like, what? <laughs> right? Everybody's terrified, which is normal. People don't understand dogs. <laughs> right? Honest truth, nobody understands dogs. So if you would have just went like this, that, or she would have went, whoa, just like she did here with me. Okay? So not falling for her bluff, 
standing there and going, what? Right? No bite, just rah, 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 trying to get me to chicken out. Because that is what everybody does. She, she knows that she will get that from most people. But all of a sudden, she was like, whoa. That's the first guy that has ever pursued me and put defensive pressure on me. And then we see her truth. The moment we put pressure on her and go, I'm not afraid of you. What? Boom, gone. That is her truth. Right? Nobody has ever exposed her truth before until that moment. So you see all the hair, all the blah, blah, blah. And as soon as I go in, there she goes, right? So as soon as I put the fence on her brain, gone, all right? In human aggression, you'll see me backing dogs down that are very aggressive and bite people. But then when we start walking out and put frontal defensive pressure on, they back off, they back away. And that is the majority of dogs. Now this shepherd here, he severely bit seven people. And the owner told me, the only reason it was seven people was because I only allowed seven people ever to be near him. And all seven people got bitten by him. If I would have put 50 people ever in front of him, he would have bit all 50. So it was only seven up until this point because we only had seven people ever enter his territory and he bit all seven. Now, this dog here, the owner was telling me, this was my first day there, I never met the dog walking in, I have never met him. But he was telling me just before this that this dog is a tough dog, he's a guard dog, and we need to fix the aggression because he's too tough. He's too severe, he's too territorial, right? Having the complete misinterpretation of what he really is, which most dogs are this way. So here you're gonna see me walk in the house. I don't know, I've never seen the dog. But he's telling me about him, and I'm already reading this is a chicken by what he's telling me. But he's telling me, no way he's a chicken. No way. This dog, he's going to bite you for sure when you walk in the house. He's bitten every seven people that are just, well, maybe, highly not, highly likely it's not going to happen because of the details you're throwing at me of how he does things. So let's give it a try. Put the suit on just to be safe. And then I come in, you see here, so here it is. And what do we have? Another classic example of a, a chicken coward dog. The moment I put pressure on him and forward pressure, he bails, he can't take it. Chicken coward, his truth comes out. Right? He's biting people he can bite and bully. He is no tough dog by any means. He's extremely weak. So... That is the truth, and this is the way most dogs are. Not all, right? I've dealt with a lot of dogs in my career that you do this to them. They will put it on you, right? But it's a very small percentage. This is the way most dogs are. Most dogs that bite people constantly and show all these kind of behaviors are fear-aggressive dogs, generally. 99% of them, okay? So it's just playing the defense game an understanding dog. Right. 
so see there, I don't fall for the bluff. She does her fake charge, rawr, 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 rawr. and as soon as I come close, just kidding, just kidding, I didn't mean it. <laughs> see at the back? Yeah. Right, see? That's, her, that's it, her right, exactly. Right, so here, when I turn my back, in the corner of my eye, I knew it was coming. That's why I returned, and as soon as I turned, she went back. Coward. Yeah. Right? She's got those two so many times. Uh-huh. Don't right. fire, and she'll, and she'll watch him go by and all of a sudden. Oh, that's right. Oh, right, right. right. Exactly. Like, shoulder like that, back, like that's the thing right there. They went high and shrank. Right, exactly. But, but that's the classic coward. From the back. Always from the back. Right? Same as street. Dog attacks you in street. They're doing what she's doing, right? Unless they've been trained. But most dogs who are pro trained professionally are not going to come and attack people in the street. So now, dog, row, 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 and they're doing this to play you. They don't mean it. They're bluffing. They look super aggressive like she does when she charges. Well, what do they do? You stay forward, they hold the circle. Roar, roar, roar. And now they're trying to come around you to see if you stay still, they're going to get you from the side or back if you stay still. But they're not going to come maul you. They're testing you. So now what happens, if you didn't move and you went like this, they come around you, where are they going to bite you first? Always the ankle. They're not going to bite you in the head or up in the body. They're just as scared of you. So what do they do? They start doing this, right? And all of a sudden, buck, and out, yeah. right? Now they want to see what the owner is going to do in return. What are they going to do? Now they're just going, okay, okay, now here we go. Because the moment the dog came in and started stalking and did this, oh my God, oh, oh, here we go. That just gave me the thing. And that's why dogs bite people in the street. They would never be able to do it if people knew how to play dog's head, right? It's just playing the game. They can never do it if I know the brain, right? Just like here with her. But you know, the first thing people want to do is get dog. Oh, hi. Right. Well, that's the trigger for the coward. Exactly. The moment you come on head on, the worst for her. Yeah. Oh, here it comes. Now we start pressing her brain. And they come in and go like this. And she goes, Hah! and then they go, ah. And the moment they do that, now she goes, rah, 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 and she comes forward like she's going to kill him. Yeah. Because they went backward. The most natural reaction anyone would do. Right. So same thing here. If, if in the street, the dog actually bit you, right? And you stayed there and you did the wrong thing and they went, boom. And everybody's reaction is, ah! Now it turned the brain on into pursuit. Ah, chicken behavior, now they can't help it. Da -ka, da -ka, da. But if the person just goes like this and turns to them, you see them go, okay, just kidding. Now they back out. As soon as you face them, the game just changed in my favor. I just got them off. Now they're barking from over there. Rawr, 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 rawr. And I go, really? How about if I go to you? Now you start seeing them run across the street. Rawr, 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 rawr. Just kidding. Going home. Last word though. Rawr, rawr, rawr. <laughs> right? And then they go in the house. <laughs> right? <laughs> and that's how that game works. Really All right. Uh, right now, she's going to go under severe emotional distress. I'm going to put it on her right now. <laughs> All right? Now, here, I'm warning everybody. Right now, what I have to do with this dog that I've done thousands and thousands and thousands of aggression cases. I know exactly the game plan that I need to do quickly to get at this dog, to break her of her demons, right? And get rid of all this chaotic anxiety, lack of trust in her owners, all these things. So beware, because now when I do this and go after her, I'm doing it for a reason, and it's for her own good, and the only way to break her, only method, this is the only way to do this quickly that exists. Now, there is no such thing as positive, right, when you're dealing with these kind of cases. Food was already tried with her. I know this type so well, I do it in my sleep. They will not take food. It will never help them, never get them over it. It is not going to happen. And that is why when I walk into all these cases, always the owners, we've had four trainers, three behaviorists, nothing's working, da da da, because nobody is attacking the core. When you do aggression, you must hit it head on and get right at it, straight on to the issue. Not tiptoe around it, dilly-dally, nice goody-goody things, right? Because that does not help the dog. You must deal with them as a species. Head on to it, just like another dog would do with them, and get at the problem. Not tiptoe around it weeks, months, years later, all, forever. 
right? And that's what happens with positive based training is that they do not understand dog psychology. They do not understand the core of dogs. And this new scientific approach is not getting us anywhere and getting us results from these types of cases. All right. Now, what you're about to see would be probably against most trainers, behaviorists, mentality, the, the way they go about things. And this is why they cannot resolve these kind of cases. They have the opposite mentality when it comes to working with fear, aggression, or dogs in general. So what you are going to see here is I have the owners take two leashes, one on one side, one on the other, and put her in the middle and tighten their lines and not let her out of that middle. Why? Few reasons. First, if she gets close to one of the owners, she becomes more aggressive. Now, most people who don't really know about dogs, their first assumption is that she is becoming defensive and protective of the owner and that's why she's worse next to the owner and it's opposite the reason she's aggressive in the first place and has fear and anxiety is because she does not trust her owners because they have shown weakness to her throughout her life with them by over babying her over cuddling her so in dog it has shown weakness within the pack. There is no body to lead her. She knows that and that's why when they're around, she'll even attack people more. When she's attached to them, she becomes more frantic in her case for a few reasons. One, we know she does not trust them. She is above them. and That is why she's a nervous wreck and so aggressive and fearful. So when you put a dog on a leash with an owner that they don't trust, now they're trapped on the leash too. They know that that owner, when somebody comes and presses, the owner is not going to be able to take care of the problem for them they are weaker than the dog is, and the dog is weak, and the dog knows it's weak. The dog feels it's on its own and has nobody to help it because they are weaker than she is. So the dogs go into panic attack and severe aggression, right, like a tiger, to keep people from coming in and pressing that zone that makes them very uncomfortable and insecure. So you see rah, 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 that tiger effect, right? And people go, man, they're aggressive. They're, yeah, she is so weak, so scared, and coming out with those teeth like a tiger, making you think she's tough and aggressive. Throwing those bluffs at you to make you back off and stay away. And that is what we have here in this case. So, you even see here as an example that when she gets close to the owners, that's the other reason why I'm going to have her tied out, is because if she gets on the owner, she will bite the owner in the leg, right? Redirecting her anxiety, her aggression. Why? when the dog is stuck on the leash, this type of dog and fear aggressive dogs need to be able to move, right? And escape pressure. That's their comfort zone. They will not let anything press them or come near them or touch them, right? <laughs> because of the fear they have of the social skill. 
so they won't allow it. So they need room to run around and get away from the problem, rah, 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 and, and, and make sure it stays away and run where they have to run, right? If they're trapped, they go under heavy, intense mental pressure. Now they're trapped, and they're trapped to somebody they don't trust, right? That they know can't help them because they're weaker than they are. Now we have a double whammy. Right, the dog at the owner, the owner's gonna get bit in redirection out of the fear and terror when somebody starts coming close, rah, rah, right, to try to get away and have the leash drop so they can start to run around and do this themselves and escape the pressure. So, we need her to be trapped. In order for me to break her and get at her because she will not allow anybody to ever touch her, right? That she does not know. Well, only three people in life are allowed to touch her and all the people that were with her from puppy through her sickness. Anybody outside of those three people, it is on and you will never be able to touch her and you are going to get bitten. So, I need her stuck in the middle, leash is out, so she cannot attach to one of the owners. I need to be able to get in there and get her fear over with and put the pressure on her so I can touch her that she can realize that touching her is not a big deal. People are not bad, right? We want her to become a social creature, normalized, a happy dog, a social dog. One who enjoys petting, enjoys people, enjoys the social interaction. Right now, she cannot do that. She's trapped and she feels alone in life. Right? Because the owners have not led her properly. So, this is going to get ugly. This is going to get ugly for a little bit. And she's going to have a meltdown. You're going to see her ah, screaming and all that. And it's all just panic attacks. If I don't do this with her, I will never, nobody will ever be able to get her over this because she will not allow it. Already positive has been done. It's already been tried. Every case I go to, it's already been tried. It is not going to help the majority of aggression fear cases. So knowing they've already tried, there's no point in that right she just bites people when they go to give her treats <laughs> so just hang in there you're going to see a whole bunch of hissy panic attacks when i just try to go touch her but i need to break that barrier and have her just let go eventually when i start touching her that it's okay we're not torturing her this is for her own good it's the only way and you gotta hit it head on and have her stress and have her get through this to get her over to the other side. It's her best interest, it's going to relieve her, it's going to help her, it's going to cure her. And you're going to see in the progression, see it throughout the video, all that happens by the end. She's phenomenal, allows people to touch her, she enjoys it, right? But there's only one way to get through this and through this quickly. And it's through the psychology ways. Right, spread. So now, right, she's caught. So every step I make, I block her brain from escape. All right. No, I'm gonna just push. All right. Okay. All right. Right. So, and you see the pain, uh -huh. heavy breathing. Yeah. <laughs> and the only reason she's biting because she cannot get out. Uh -huh. She's fighting for her life. Yeah. But not to me. Yeah. I'm not that backwards. Yeah. She cannot get out. 
right? Yeah. It's pure panic for her. Panic attack. I think she It just depends on what's gonna, but here as well, I'm teaching her, she cannot use her mouth mm -hmm. to get away because I don't care. Yeah. You see, she goes, it didn't work. Nah, it didn't work. I'm not going, ah, she bit me. And I go away. No, no, I'm gonna keep coming for you. The more you use your mouth, the more I'm coming. Now, do you see that on the camera? No. Mm -hmm. You see here when I touch, all the trembling? She was shaking as if she got touched with the collar. Yeah. I didn't touch her, right? All the pa you see that? She just twitched. Look at, look at all, you see all that nervous energy run through the body as soon as I touch her? And now it's starting to calm down. See that? You see that mm, big yeah. twitch? because all the tension built up in her, yeah. as soon as I touch the, the skin, runs through her body, uh -huh. oh my God, right? And that's when the trigger of the mouth happens. I got, because she can't help it, uh -huh. because she's so wound up with nervous pressure, yeah. even a flinch, a touch of that Step body, off. right? See, you see her, uh -huh. her cheek just twitched, yeah. right? And there, her muscles just flinched when I went here, right? Yeah. Now, relax, relax, relax. Or see? Mm -hmm. I mean, as soon as I touch a different area now, it's mm -hmm. the instant jump. Of a new spot. New oh, spot, right sends the chills through the body, emotional wreck, right? Maybe right? That sympathetic response, she's drooling. Right, drooling, she's, she's salivating. Like Right, right, right. Exactly. But right now, this is how we recover her. Right? Oh, but you can't bite me either. I'm still here. Yeah. So no matter how much you run, uh -huh. no matter how much you bite, no matter, I'm still in your face. Right? Get over it. It's fine. I'm not going to hurt you. Relax. Right. right? But it has to be the therapy and look at all that panting. Her chest is coming out. Did she actually, when she was that stressed and panting, did she actually get hold of Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but it was but like this. It wasn't like bite down in this. It was just like, ah, ah, right? Right. the whole time she was like flipping. Right, exactly, exactly. So what happened was I touched her with a collar and then she sat. And I stopped the frantic spinning of the mind with a touch to make it come down so I can get near her. Yeah. Right? And then now she's blocked. Right, so now she's blocked, it's great. Yeah. So now here, a restart, right? But when I go touch her right now, I'm expecting a whole nervous jump when I touch her again, right? See that? As soon as I touched her there, the whole body jumped. And yet she's looking at you very, very See, touch here, see the whole jump? <laughs> See the relaxing now? Yeah. Now that I'm getting through it, now she's looking at me with a different eye. Now, she, because you turned your back. If you turned well, your back, right now, because I, but I'll do it, but right now, in that state, uh -huh. if I turn my back and walk, big chance she doesn't do it. Really? Yeah. Okay. And then run. Right, you can see oh, yeah. the relaxing, the yeah. calming, the eye difference than when just a minute ago. Yeah. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. There, you see. Now you see that new spot. Uh -huh. I just touched her shoulder. New spot. You see her look right at you. Well, she jumped. She jumped and looked at me like, okay, that area. That was uh, a new one. That, yeah. a new one. <laughs> that got me. That bothered me. Right. Not just from touching her. Right, 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 yeah. right, right, right. But Should right here. Should I get ready to do it or not? Well, right now, see here? Yawn. Yeah, well, that's the stress. Uh -huh. The yawning is part of the process of the rehab, right? So here, every time I go to her face, you see she curls her lip just a second, uh -huh. <laughs> right? But she's holding back. Look, she's almost going to lay down. Yeah, you don't have to pull so tight there. Yeah. 
see how right and then she's gonna now there right she almost came around not to bite me that was almost like curiosity. engage with me in curiosity like she's loosening up enough to experience me not looking to trigger on me okay now if I walk you see I walk away right I turn my back now there's no trigger Turn my back, right? And she just stays there now. Because what I'm telling her is, even if I turn my back, I'll still come for you. I'm not scared of you. Yeah. <laughs> I already proved that by being in your face and letting you bite me. I didn't go anywhere. It doesn't work. <laughs> now, and then with the pressure of the collar, both, now she lays down and she relaxes and she goes into submission and she gives up. Fine, fine, touch me, man, touch me. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna hold there. She just gave up and this was the worst for her right so she just gave in to me being dominant on top she's submissive no panic not trying to bite fight me give in it's fine nobody's trying to hurt you relax and <laughs> actually gonna give it here yeah. right. good <laughs> uh. <laughs> right there, she goes kicking that one too. <laughs> this guy is awesome. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. Right, where you been, man? <laughs> right, right, and then turn around, walk away. Nothing. Relax. All right, but it's just making it all happen. Yeah. Right. Breaking her down. Yeah. Right. Now here you talk, you hear me talking about her being wound up with anxiety and all that, right? And this is her natural state. She gets anxious and wound up. Yes, from me pushing her, right? She, she's a little more tense. And that, but it's not me stressing her out, right? To the point like it's abusive. None of it, not even close, right? This is, we're going to quickly start getting the cure. But this is her nature. I try to come pet and just trying to pet her, right? She fights, she's trying to buck away, she's trying to get away and not fight me head on. She would not do that on her terms. You see, when I'm going to pet her and touch her with the sleeve, she wants to get away and off the leashes and away, not come forward and attack. It's just rah, 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 at the thing while she's trying to escape out the back. She does, can't take any of that frontal pressure. So I'm just trying to calm her, let her bite the sleeve, relax, get the relief out. I'm touching you, it's fine. I'm not trying to hurt you, I didn't, right? And eventually they're against the car. We stop her backwards movement because of the car, helped us get her into the state where I could touch her and let her understand. Look, I'm touching you. I never wanted to hurt you. But you must get this out of you that everybody's no good. That everybody's out to hurt you. You have to learn how to be touched and people to be able to come forward on you and not get bitten and hurt. <laughs> you must become social. All is well. And without this experience of somebody breaking her and letting her get touched and feel that it's okay. Look, it actually feels good, right? Relief. It's good. 
The touch is good. I'm not trying to hurt you. Nobody's trying to hurt you. Right? You don't have to escape. You don't have to run. Enjoy it. Right? But if I did not do this to her, I would never have broken her down and broken that barrier that she has to allow and accept touching. There is no gentle way through this with these types of dogs. And nature is telling you right now, what I did with her is completely accurate and on the money. Dog needs pressure, pressure cures, I always say in dog training, in behavior. And here you see the perfect example, whether somebody likes the way I did this or not, it is the answer. It is the way. It's the only way, right? I know all the ways to do this. And I know all the wrong ways, what's not going to work and what's only going to work. And it's hitting it head on and getting through it for the dog. Not to stress them out over and over in class after class, after week, after month, after year, after, right? Just get it over with. Let's get in. Let's get at it. Let's not continue to stress her for the rest of her life and hope that she ever allows us to come in and pet her one day, right? Because when it's up to her, she is not going to let that happen for the next 20 years. So we have to break through there and force this on her and get her to accept it and learn it's good. Relax, enjoy. See, that is being social, letting go of all the anxiety and all that neuroticness. And then let's, we're gonna restart. You're gonna move her around, move her somewhere else. Let's get her out of there. Yeah. We re-go right at her again and let's see how much she got out of that one thing. Okay. Because we're gonna have to move her from there and get a new spot for her to redo, yeah. right? So you're gonna move her anywhere you want. Okay. Now we'll see what she learns. Right. But but always Her in attention. Yeah. Good. Perfect. Good girl. Good. And I walk away, no redirection, no threat, no trigger, that jumbled nervous tension. Go ahead, turn around. It's not there, it's gone, right? Again. Now, I know that I took a lot out of her and she's probably fatigued a little bit. Would she come, if she was still in that state, would she come right back at you again no matter how tired she is? Yeah. She's a dog, like, I'm tired, but yeah, yeah. do it again. Right, because this is not tired. This is give in and let go. Okay. This is not exhaustion. <laughs> this is just her going, fine. Uh, yeah. I give, it's good. Okay. It's good. I don't need to be like that. And I won't allow it either. But see, that's the difference. I won't allow her to be like that. So it's always that same thing where whatever I want, I'm gonna get. I'm just gonna make it however it comes out to be, I'm gonna get it, whatever, I, however it's gotta go, right? But here for you, you can't pass these stages unless you have somebody to work with to touch her. You see, it, it, it's the huge part. So if I don't have somebody that can be safe and do it and her have experience of going da, ga, ga, right? And not get away with it, really you're set back because she didn't get it yet. She thinks her mouth can get her away with everything. And then she's able to back out and she's never able to stuck on a leash to not stay there. And then she's free. Like well, why don't we get him? We'll put him, we'll put him in the sleeve. Cause she hasn't, you know, outside of about four or five people, she hasn't been touched. Right, right, right. And that's- what I can get to do with it. Right, exactly. Do any of that. Now, we are going to now have the owner's dad 
who has been trying to pet her forever. She will not let him. She goes after him all the time. She tries to bite him. So he has never been able to touch her. So we are now going to give him the sleeve and we are going to have him go in and try to pet her and see if for the first time he can pet her because he is terrified of her as well because she will hunt him too has bitten him several times and any attempt of him trying to be her friend or pet her has become a huge issue and she goes after him and nasty snapping and trying to attack him so here we're going to give him the sleeve and have him go and pet her It is incredible to see that fight, that fight she gives at first. That she can't help, right? Uh -huh. That trigger, when she goes like this and just loads, it's all that nervousness, right? And it just jumbles up, and all of a sudden, she, when it's in striking mode, now you see her hair go all, you know she's a chicken when she does that. <laughs> the hair all stands up, and now she goes into that thing like, yeah. Like no, that's a, no my dogs, yeah, my protection dogs don't do it. They, don't they just go, what, you wanna fight? Okay. Buggers! Right, there's no there's chicken no warning, got to be bigger, right? <laughs> so <laughs> usually, right, exactly. So no. the chicken, right? And then she just laid down with me right here. It's not even paying attention. Uh -huh. She let go. No. You're going to put that. Okay, you got your handle there. My fingers here? Maria. Uh, yeah, that's good. So that's not exposed. So you just stay like that, okay? So what you're going to do... Uh-huh when she's facing it's the worst right but I want you to do what you would do normally now the normal person would try to bait her first with verbal and go playa hey baby and do that you see that and she just licked her lips as soon as I said that she licked her lips she went to stress right I don't talk to her I'm just gonna pet you right so right now what I want you to do without that is you're just gonna walk right at her and just start petting with the sleeve but in the beginning, just extend your arm <laughs> without the body being in that range. <laughs> All right. Listening? Don't hit with your left hand. You have a dog trap on it? Nah. <laughs> right. And just pet. Right, right, right. And keep going. Just pet. There you go. Okay. And what I want you guys to do, loosen a little bit. Right. Let her relax. Okay, now what I want you to do is you're gonna go towards Christine and you're gonna go to her and from her front and you're gonna pet her from that angle to her head. All right, you're gonna stand right with Christine and go right at her and pet her front on. All right, and just walk right at her. All right, she's gonna accept. Good, 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 good. Mm hmm. But you see the, the head, she's just like, I'm fine, yeah. right? I'll take it, but... Good, and then I'm going to have you walk back. Okay. Now, we're going to change it just a little bit. Now I want you to do what the normal human would do. Hey, Playa, hi! <laughs> and you're going to walk right at her and try to pet her when you do that. Give us a Playa? Uh -huh, right at her. Now you see more stress and the lips start licking. Mm -hmm because that stresses her brain out, but, right, and it makes her neurotic, it makes her nervous, but she's holding it. Good. Good. And then you're going to come out. Now, now, right, right, because this is what I want to show you, right? Now she's going to him. She was going to go with him, uh -huh. right? She just wants affection now. Yeah. <laughs> so now you're going to go back in. You're going to pet her. ¿Qué pasa, Brian? <laughs> Good. Perfect. And then just walk away. Yeah, that way. All right, just keep going. Mm -hmm. And then she's going to lay down. Now, you're going to come get her when she's laying. She gave up again. She's good. And you just come in and pet her. 
Good. You see all the licking of the lips? As soon as he got in that range, lick, 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 lick. This is her trigger right there. Right, but that's the trigger. That's the, part, that's the right? optimal trigger for her. Right, and that would be the moment she attacks. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right. Just like she did last week, and it's exactly the same with him. Right. She, yep. she Almost the exact spot. All right, but now... <sighs> and then we're going to walk back. Yeah, she's looking around. She's not right, she's, she's actually just ah. avoiding and letting go and just looking around. Now, she's not paranoid. She's not in schizophrenic state. <laughs> right? And then a little faster. You're going to move faster at her. So we're going to press her a little more. So you're just going to kind of go in a fast pace. Hey, Playa. And then just touch. Good. Perfect. Not even a lick of the lips. Perfect. Relax. Relax. Mouth opens good. Yes. Mouth Venting. Danger. Venting. Pressure. Relaxation. Right. Good. And she licked. <laughs> but that's okay because right now, yeah, she can lay over. Yeah. Then keep petting. Right. She submitted to you. Perfect. All right. Ah. And then what your dad does, right? The moment he can, finishes that, whenever he's ready, he can keep going for a little bit if he wants, down the body, right? Because right now she's gonna accept whatever. Uh -huh. okay. She gave in already. And then, you, you getting her mouth, her face. And now she plays dead and then she's in a coma. And she wouldn't. She would never strike from that. No. Well, I mean, no. But right now with her, we know. Look, she's even going to the sleeve and smelling oh, it. Nice. Yeah. She let go. She's now going into a normal dog state. Yeah. Right. And look, she's gonna stretch out. Look, look. Ah, stretch out. Go ahead. Whoop. It's spa day for Playa. <laughs> <laughs> right. Perfect. Awesome. And the more she feels this, the more she lets go and quicker. Because the more we sit in there and we do this and she's in a passive state, yeah. she learns, right? She goes away with that experience now knowing, this is my new life. I absorbed it, I learned it, I felt what it was like to be in a calm state without panic and it feels good yeah. and that's what she retains in her brain is that state going forward yeah. that it's okay, right? All right, and then you go pet, good. And now what your dad would do, right? Right, and you, all right, she bets, uh huh? So, kind of right now, when she submits like that, I keep going because I want her in that completely let go state of just giving her belly, giving her whole body right now, and going, Hey, look, whatever. I'm not even paranoid about my feet, I'm not paranoid about any part of my body. And now, all the nervous tension that was in her body a few minutes ago, every time you touch her, jump is gone. Yeah, and she's backed in a corner, and too. she's backed into a corner yeah, where go. she could fight from. And she's not even in that state. She's actually gonna fall asleep. <laughs> so somebody drug me? Did somebody do something to me? Something that water just gave me. Good. And what your dad's gonna do is he's gonna stand and go walk that way face first. Stand straight to the arena, stand. Yeah, with your back toward it. And just walk. Perfect. Not even a glimpse in the eye of seeing the body go that way. Not a moment, not a thought. Perfect. And same thing here, beautiful, completely relaxed, perfect state. He's able to pet her with no problem. She's enjoying it, putting her leg underneath, letting go as if she was a normal dog, right? I hope this is a lesson to everyone watching this, that if you're a behaviorist, if you're a trainer, if you're the public, of our perception of how we feel about dog actually turns against us and the dog's nature, right? Of being too, you know, pampering, worrying so much about them stressing, right? Overly not understanding dog. Thinking, I understand, that everybody, the trainers, behaviorists, the public, always thinking they're doing the best for the dogs by protecting them, by not pushing them, by not stressing them, is actually causing more problems and bigger issues and never getting to the core of their problem because you are not going about it in a species way and how the dog actually sees life. We're seeing it from a human eye and a human emotion and a human perspective that is inaccurate. 
So flooding and getting at the dog and getting it on will have them overcome their problems and break them of it very quickly as you see here if you understand what dog needs and how they see life. This is anti-human. This is people thinking opposite. No, no, don't do that to her. That's so mean. That's so cruel. Why would you do that? Why would you stress her out? Why would you push? Right? Behaviors do that. Trainers do that. Public does that. And we just have a mess of millions and millions and millions of dogs that are dysfunctional. Because we are treating them in that light. And then to cure something, you definitely can't stay in that aspect, that thinking, that process. Because that's telling you you don't understand dog. Right? And here is a clear example. It is right in your eye right now that you cannot deny what we are seeing right now from the pushing of her. Can't deny it. No matter how you feel about it, there is no way around the fact it works. None. There is zero, right, <laughs> opinion. It is a factual, it works. It's working in front of you. It has worked. It worked. It's not maybe it would work. Maybe there's another one. It worked. And quickly. Fast as could be. Right? So, now we are going to have one of the workers that's here who has been bitten by her many, many times. And he is terrified of her. And in the beginning of the video, he was saying that she's got him at least five, six times already and the only reason not more is because he's so aware of her and, and won't come off the roof right unless she's inside somewhere and locked up for sure he's not coming down because she will attack him so we're going to put him in the sleeve and have him now come and pet her and see if he can do it for the first time in his life yeah, she's going to be your friend <laughs> okay, okay? Yeah. What do I do? so you're going to put this on I have all these mouth colors. All right, so you're just going to walk right at her and just a little distance here, but not your body in. Okay, so just lean over and pet. So you're going to walk right to her. Pet, do it. Yep. Ah, she lays over right away. Right Submissive, instant. Perfect. Now she's become everybody, anybody, anybody else here at the house want to come and pet me here? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Right, and you're going to keep going? Carlos, name right, Carlos? Yeah. Stomach. You're gonna go in there, just pet her stomach, rub them down. She's gonna go. <laughs> All right. All right. And you see Carlos there talking to her. Good girl. Good girl. Right. That would usually stir her up. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. That's what normal people do. Right. And that would make her like this. Right. But that's okay because right now we have her in a state of mind that people can make the mistake and do the human thing. Right, you go, good girl, how's that good? Perfect, even petting the legs. Right. Oh, what was that? Okay, that's, that's what she tends to do. She tends to like, afterwards. Right, right, right. And then once you move, mm, right. As soon as you turn around, then she makes you get your boots and nips on you. Right, so if you don't mind, you're gonna walk this way. Okay. Then even, the moment he went that way, she'd look the other way. Yeah. And then what you can do across, you're gonna come right in on her face. Good girl, playa, good girl. Okay, right. Uh, too fast. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no. yeah, so when I go back. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what, what yeah. Fast. Well, fast, but like, nor like, like. <laughs> yeah, no, no. yeah, she was like, whoa, that coma I was in? Okay, that was a nightmare I had. <laughs> We're back to normal now. <laughs> Again, yeah, yeah, but normal, normal. Normal fast. Hey, girl. Hey. Right, right, right. There you go. And then turn this way, girl, and do it from this angle, right? But you see his pant legs, uh -huh. right? She didn't even think about it's it. Totally and then you're gonna come in the back and just pet her. Good girl. Good. Right, but then she went back yeah. because we gave her many, many experiences before Carlos. And Carlos just now gave her two on the floor and he didn't threaten her or try to hurt her. Uh, so when he moved on her like that, she couldn't help it. Yeah. Yeah. So when you move quick on the brain like that, boom, 
hey, it was just a, a thing she couldn't help. Her brain snapped. And then the moment she settled back in, she let Carlos come in and do because it wasn't, you know, that she meant anything. That speed will make any dog go. Let me ask you, okay, when I pet her, so how, how should I retreat so that she won't snap? I well, look at her. Well, well, in the beginning you can do it. You pet her and just take a step or two back and then just start going. Okay. Don't, okay. Don't yeah, right now, I mean, ideally she shouldn't do it because we're trying to get rid of that. There shouldn't be a need for her to try to strike you in the back. Mm. Right? So when you walk that way, we tested it. You turned and walked that way and she saw the back of your leg. And yeah. she just went and looked the other way. She didn't even think about biting you. Mm. Right? So that's what we're trying to get to. Nobody needs to not w worry about uh, my front and my yeah. back. Is she going to strike me from behind? Right. Yeah, but it's not an issue of us, not necessarily. Well, right. Well, that. Like but, but, yeah, because because right? well, you have because she's always been like this, yeah. right? And all, 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 right. So it's like, oh, well, hey, 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 be careful, turn your back, and here we go. And that's how everybody is here now. Right. Well. Like, right. Well, she's got everybody walking on eggshells right now. She closed yeah. the toolbox and everybody went. Right. Right. Well, wait for her to walk away from the toolbox. <laughs> she's smelling like, and I'll apply. Hey, by the way, I need a wrench. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't mind, <laughs> but drop it there. If you don't mind. <laughs> right. Come down from the roof when she's. Yeah. Because right. the other guy is usually here, not here, but he no. won't come down. Oh, so they stay up on the roof and they won't come up and let you? She's down the ladder. <laughs> she's in the back of the car, she'll try to attack into the car. Right, right. Oh, I'm sure. Sure. Oh, yeah. Right. Sure. Uh-huh. There you go. Hey. Hey. And she rolls over, right? Right. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to be my friend now? <laughs> <laughs> I know you'll take a while. Yeah. She's like, I'm working on it, Carlos. Yeah. That quick little move you made? <laughs> I'm trying to forgive you. <laughs> right, so you. Right, so what you're gonna do here, Carl? Go in, pet, and what I want you to do is when you finish, turn that way and just walk away. Okay. And just walk away. Perfect. Opposite. Not even hunting that leg. Yeah. It's because right now it's not in her. She has trust right now. Now. As far as retention. Now, come, come away, cross, come cross. Perfect, 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 right. Oh, right, well, she saw it, it was fear here. Yeah. Just in case, what's he gonna do? And the moment he did, she just let go. And he was right there, she could have struck him. She didn't. Oh, perfect. She hit me a couple of times. No, they were telling me. Yeah. And it, it was your boot, right? It was your new boot that she yeah. bit you in the boot. Yeah, uh, the thing is, once she kings. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I mean, she saw me coming, uh -huh. in, but I guess he, it was sort of like a, a security thing. Mm -hmm. And another one was just, you know, playing around. And yeah. Right, and right, right. And it's going to be. Pass. Right, right, exactly. Right because the moment he turns, it, here we go, it's the back. Submissive. And he's been pretty good about not backing away from it. Like, what? Yeah, but the, the difference is, though, what I did to her up there is oh, not yeah. backing off, right? No. Did you just talk to me? Because now I'm coming to you. What? No, no, just kidding. <laughs> I mean, hey, we're, oh my God, he's coming for me. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> right? So if I just ignore her and I kind of like that, I'm still chicken, right? I didn't, I didn't go after her and go, what? What? Kind of skirted the situation. Right, so she's just going, yeah, whatever, that's a bluff. What, whatever, turn your back, hug. How about that? Woo, <laughs> right? And nobody ever goes, what? Come here. Now you're gonna, right? Right, so nobody ever does that to her. So that's why she goes and she chickens and bunk. Now what? And if you even make a move, arr, 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 you gotta enter that. But there's dogs you really don't wanna. Her, I know I can go right in and she's gonna go, arr, 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 right? Keep running. All right, and then she'll always stay away from me. Right, but that's not what you would be doing in practicality. That's not the game. That, you, right. you saw how she, she wouldn't even approach your defense. Right. Do you think that, is that retention from you knowing her already, or is that just, she just picks up on that, you don't care about yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's both. It's one history, but here, when I stood at the fence. Yeah. I'm getting Yeah. I even tried. Playa. Hey, uh, she was like, no, 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 that. <laughs> and the moment she got close to the fence, and I even went this, she went and did that, like, no, 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 no. That energy, that guy knows how to play my brain. Right? Because she knows I know. And over there too, when she tried to get out, all I have to do is twitch one way. Where's your brain going? Well, are you gonna escape this way? No, I don't think so. And all of a sudden she goes, damn, I'm trapped. He knows, he blocks that angle on my brain. Here I go, nope, I'm trapped here. Now you're stuck here, where are you gonna go? This way, no, I don't think so. Right, now I have her stuck, right? And she can't go back. 
because we got it trapped on the lines. Now there's nowhere to go mentally. That's you have to deal with it. So what are you gonna do? Fight? You already bit me. Yeah. Didn't work. Now what? Because there's got, nothing left. You got weapons. <laughs> <laughs> Relax. Right? Let me ask you something. If I knew better, if she was coming towards me, what, what should I have done? Towards her. I, I should just towards her. So I just face her and start walking out of the ground. <laughs> So you see all the hair, all the blah, blah, blah. And as soon as I go in, there she goes, right? So as soon as I put the fence on her brain, gone, all right? So you see the way you ran at her? You went quick and she went, woo, right? That's what would happen if she started going towards you and you turn and face her and go, huh? She would go, hey, Carlos, love you, man. Just kidding, <laughs> right? How about I roll over again and we do this? We don't need conflict, <laughs> right? All right. And now, right now, she's passive, passive. Because that usually doesn't happen. I mean, when they come towards you, they'll usually like bark, 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 and then. Right. Well, but if you stay still, they go ro 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 because the body's not moving. So it's a stationary object. So they're just like ro ro, make a move. Ro ro, what if? Are you going to leave? They're trying to bluff you because she's a chicken. So the more chicken they are, they go, come on. I have power. I'm going to see if I do. <laughs> ruh, ruh, ruh. And then people go, ah, it works. Back up, chicken. Arr. Right? So I just count to her and go, what? Did you just run at me? And she goes, Weep. mistake. Right? He just countered me. Right? And then she goes away. It's opposite. Right. And that's what I did to her up on the stairs, on the balcony. Yeah. She came forward, rah, 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 thinking I was going to give up or I was going to be scared of her strike. Here, take it. I'm still coming for you. Yeah. Man, it doesn't work. This guy's crazy. Rah, 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 holy. And then she went down the stairs like, let me out. He's coming. She, she, she jumped off the steps. Yes. Um, what you were saying, Carl? Oh. When you get a dog like this who's that scared, they don't take food. Okay. They don't take bribery because she's so scared. If you have a, a dog who's a little scared and it's not that deep, yeah, you can do food stuff. Everybody. And you can try to build, not that it's gonna work for everybody, like that person she does with, the food, 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 that doesn't mean that even the, the dog who's not that fearful doesn't mean it's gonna work for everybody, mm -hmm. right? Because you gave food and she likes you now doesn't mean she's gonna like everybody who comes now. Okay. Because we didn't get her core and work herself. That's the problem with positive training. Right? If it's deep like hers, she's a deep genetic disaster. Right? This has to be overcome and we gotta now do Mother Nature. With her, you try to bribe her. That's exactly what she does. Right? And that's exactly what's gonna happen. When you know this, you know positive won't work. Yeah. And, and does jealousy work in when I pet the other dogs which her? No, that's just bullying. That's, that's, that's just going, hey, if you're gonna touch them, you're gonna touch me, because I own that lab. He's mine and I'll bite him too. <laughs> right? It's just a bully. No jealousy. So that's why when you get all the positive trainers, yes, I'm going to say this right now, and I am going to say it, right? You get the positive, positive. My life becomes taking over from every positive trainer on the planet. No, no, we tried. I mean, do that, do that, do that. When they're that bad, nah, they're never going to take that. And the trainer doesn't know what to do. They don't have a bag of tricks. They only, if they can't bribe a dog and try to get something, they can't do it. And a lot of times, even if they get it for them, it doesn't happen with these types. It, for the low level ones, they get it for that one, but has it transferred to everybody? No, no, not generally. Yeah. Wait, where did she get and I don't like want to carry a bag of liver, chicken liver with me. Doesn't time. matter. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think she got like that? Because these people are pretty cool. You know? Well, it, Normally they, you know. genetics first. How she's oh, born, she's submissive thing. type, uh -huh. she's weak type. You know, then when you get her type, she was sick. I mean, she had other things. You get a lot of pampering. I mean, she went through a lot. So you get a lot of pampering behavior, but you don't know that that type's gonna become like this. Because if you take the lab and you do the same thing that did to her, uh -huh. he's fine. Oh, yeah. Because genetically, he's normal. He can take all the wrong things from human and not go bad. This one, you give all that and you make them psychotic. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Type different type, different personality type. This one you make into a so demon. What kind of breed is this? Whether? No. This is the first time I've ever been able to Touch her. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, because she's pretty... No, no, but that's yeah. exactly saying again. Right. Let's have steak, right? We went to a case where the trainer, 10 trainers, behaviorists and the psychologist, they took a treat machine. Flink! Shooting treats at the dog that won't come down, nervous wreck like her, just doesn't bite. He just won't go near people, not even the owner. Had him two years, he won't go near the owner. Oh. Treats, chucking, treats, chucking, right? He doesn't even eat treats, <laughs> right? So most dogs with bad problems are never gonna take a treat and are not gonna fall for that positive nonsense, right? So I hope you've got another game because there's only one game to that type. There is no variations. Most people think, no, but uh, that style of training, no, no, it doesn't exist. Because with that type, there's only one way. It's not like, no, but that trainer has their method and they're gonna do, no, 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 because I would do it that way too. There is only one. There's only one way to get to that type, one. And we're doing it right now. Because if I would've done treats, ah, I'll be doing this for months, yeah. years. She'll and she'll never, else. and she'll just start going. When she gets comfortable enough, don't move. Treat. Right? Well, let me ask you, let me ask you something. Okay, the dog is... All right, and Carlos, you, you want to do it one more time? Yeah. You got a boss? I'll be right Okay. Bye. Carlos, I don't know. Okay. Bye, yeah. Right. right. Bink! And rolls right over. Zero. Right? Three. Completely let go. But you see the way Carlos just came at her? No, no stopping. Like, whatever. Right, no hesitancy. She just went like this. Up, oh, here comes Carlos with that motor oh, movement. Boink, right over. Go ahead, do it. That should be right. playful. Right, and that's what should start to happen. She should start to come out and get loose enough to start playing. Because she's a very playful animal. She right. Loves to play. Right, and we know that underneath. Yeah. But she just has to come out of that shell and let life happen. Right? She just doesn't trust life. Right? Yeah, I can't manipulate her head and everything. Right, right, right. <laughs> Good. And then I get up, and then I have to be careful. Well, <laughs> even you can do this, girl. Just and again, perfection. Calm, relaxed, allowing the underneath. Right, just totally taking it in. The first time in her life ever allowing people, strangers, people she doesn't, to touch her, come close to her. No panicking, no trying to escape, no rah, 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 flight and on the leashes and trying to, chaotic, completely at peace. Because I went dog on her and pushed her into her uncomfortable boundaries and broke that down on her and allowed her to feel what it's like to actually have people touch her, which she would not have allowed ever on her own. So again, breaking her down and getting through it and just get at it, allow her to stress a little bit, let her feel what it's like to be touched, broke her completely down and let loose and now is letting everybody pet her that she has never let pet her before. All right, so now we're a week later, and what we're gonna do is we are going to put her inside the owner's car. Why? She has been super aggressive anytime she's been inside the owner's car her whole life. Attacks anything and everything that come around the car and even far distances from the car. I mean, like a lunatic. So we decided we hadn't worked on this. We're just going to throw her in the car and see what we get from last week's session that you just saw. So here you see, you're going to see Jesus who was with me. He was the one filming the first day and he is a, he's there with me learning to be a trainer, but I'm going to put him in the car and have him with no sleeves on inside the car where she's been horrendous. See if he can pet her with no attacks and with no equipment. No sleeve, perfect. Good, no sleeve, okay. Good, good. 
now have her come back up and buy. Good. And at the same time, pet. Hold there. Play, pet. <laughs> How many things can you do at the same time? She's getting tired. Yeah, that's good. And now we're going to put the dad again that was petting her just previously with the sleeve on for the first time and have him now come to the back of the car and try to pet her with no equipment on to protect him and in a zone again that she was ferocious in. And now here we'll see him go pet her in the back of the car with nothing to help him or save him from an attack. Is that the first time without a sleeve? First time with, without, 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 yeah, mm -hmm. without the muzzle. Without uh, the muzzle, it's the first time? First time. Wow. Okay. And her tail's wagging. Yeah, no, no, she's like she getting excited wagging. about yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, it's the best thing yet today. Oh man, he's even going lower. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, he's going into the range. <laughs> awesome, perfect. And see when he pulled his hand out? Mm -hmm. There Nothing. was no reaction to look, the Look at her out. tail, yeah. look at her tail. Right, and her tail going, she's happy. Lexi's sitting right there. Uh -huh. I mean, yeah. things that would drive her crazy. <laughs> Approach it at her little bottom. Right. So, hey, gotta be careful with that. All right, see the yawning? Because uh -huh. yeah. right now, all the talking to her, yeah. uh -huh. Rod, no stressing talking. her out, right? So then you just pet her. No, just pet her. Because that state of mind she's in right now. That eye contact? The eye. You see the eye? Yeah. The, the, that we know we're safe, right? But if she changes that eye look, you get that hand up. Yeah. <laughs> right? But right now she's giveaway. Yeah, yeah. And she's, right now she's not in that mindset at all, right? And because here too, what happens? She realized there's no flight to the fight right now. Uh -huh. you're, they're, you're they're, stuck uh, they're stuck right there, there. right? Yeah. So take it because there's not going to be like you're going to give a shot and run. Yeah. Right. You got nowhere to fight. Great environment for her. To now run. here, look, look. She's going towards him. Good. Oh, perfect. And she's so terrible. Pasa la mano, right. Pasa right. la mano. Right. No, on the head. Right, right. And the body, you see your body shook again? Yeah. yeah. But she's taking it. Look, she's liking that. She's actually coming to him now to be pet. Look, she's like so relaxed. Look. Good. Perfect. And, yes. And all of us out here? Yeah. Like, her trapped in that little space yeah and all of us even a dog that she can't get along with being right there and she's let go yeah i mean there's so much pressure right now on her mm -hmm. being around this car and leashed up yeah she's actually enjoying it yeah yeah absolutely like it's like she's actually looking look. for it like oh, liking dude, it yeah. look. how about here how about look here? at Check how low he is in her belly man i mean he is in danger territory <laughs> But that's perfect because she has no hint that she's going to strike him. Uh -huh. Perfect. It, absolutely perfect. Beautiful, right? And you see with the dad there, her tail wagging, her coming close to him for affection, right? That she's never done in her life and happy about the engagement and the social human engagement that she has never, ever craved wanted or would ever let happen ever before in her life and now you see her liking it wanting it open to it enjoying it that is a master class in dog psychology at its very best and here just a little clip before you saw her going after Jesus's legs from the back, before we worked on stopping that behavior. So the touching is one thing, and then getting her to learn not to hunt that back when she sees it, which is a habit, to stop that hunting the back of the leg also. And here you see the before, and then after we worked on it with no charging the leg, no hunting the leg. So we had to work on that version as well, just to make sure we had both versions, right, of her aggression in check. And now, run forward. All right. 
One more step back. And then run. Good, she held it. Perfect. Perfect. All right, stay. Careful. Good. Hold on. Right, good. Perfect. Flyer well, never thought this was going to happen in her life. <laughs> never. And he's talking and talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's talking to her. That was her great. And then what we're going to do is, when he backs out, we're going to have the juice go in and try to do that as well. All right, Dad, when you get up, come to me. Just walk straight to me. So, I just wanted to bring this video forward from my archive, right? Because this system, this type of psychology, it never goes away. It is time tested. It'll be till the end of time that dogs are on this planet with us. It's the quickest, fastest, most efficient way to help dogs and cure them, getting them through all of this tension and anxiety and all of this stuff that comes from living with humans. It's a, like an alien, right, living with humans. Completely different DNA, completely different mentality, genetics of how they see the world. We as humans think they see it like we see it, not even close to the truth. And if you understand dog brain, the way they're made up internally, the way they see life, when they go into fear, how they get there and how to unlock them and all the nuances, then you can help them quickly and cure them and get them to like life again and stop being so anxious and aggressive. So this just one case is a true master class as good as it gets in a dog psychology lesson i hope people take good things away from this because if you are paying attention and rational you cannot go away and try to go ah that, uh, no, it worked right in front of your eyes in one session. So it is what it is. It works always, all the time. And there's a method and a madness to my system. And it gets results over and over and over. So I am Richard Hines. And until next time, I'll see you on the next video. If you go